back up and try this other direction. I think that's where I learned it. So it's, it's almost as if, as if the Hemi has proved out as being the way to make horsepower. Again, if you want to take one particular engine that just, you know, is the icon of the muscle car era, it's got to be the Hemi. Well, we said we were going to do a real life test. The clutch is almost out of this car. I knew I had to dump the clutch high enough to get him spinning, but I didn't want to take the clutch right out of it. Did a really good burnout, but unfortunately, with all the other things going on with this car, I feel sorry this car hasn't been done justice for the simple fact the clutch is slipping so bad. I've got to admit, I'm a little disappointed in this burnout. I'm trying to launch it in second gear so I don't have to shift right away and lose all that momentum, but the thing doesn't have quite enough torque like the other cars. Eh, these red lights don't light up as nice as the Goodyear's either. No doubt this car did the best burnout. Launch it at about 5,000 in second gear and it just doesn't stop spinning. I can just kind of feather it at 5 to 5,500 and just keep smoking. Great burnout car. the Firestones light up a little earlier, a little quicker than the Goodyear's. No problem roasting the tires and like all the sticks, we're doing the burnout out of second gear. Coming up on the Muscle Car Shootout, we will tally up all the scores. Thirty-five years ago, this collection of cars were arguably the fastest cars on the planet. Are they still the fastest? No, and not by a long shot, yet the legend of the American muscle car is stronger now than ever. And why is that? Because those of us who were around at the birth of this era of muscle witnessed something that will never, ever happen again in the automotive industry. With seven manufacturers participating in a King of the Hill competition, the beneficiary was 